Hey, this is Jenny Jones with the Digital Marketing Toolshed. Hey, just want to spend a few minutes with you. Um, a lot of people, when they're trying to grow their business, they're trying to figure out. And again, like I said, um, there's always these different snags or these different hangups. So what I wanted to do was um, people kept asking me, this hey, what is all this stuff about Zapier, right? And Zapier, as we know, if you don't know Zapier, it's a cloud-based tool that allows different softwares to talk to each other. It is probably the most widely uh, utilized tool because it was really the first of its kind. And what it basically did was, um, I'm sorry, where are my manners? <laughs> Jenny Jones here, the Digital Marketing Tool Shed. Um, I run three businesses, have 19 streams of revenue, and that's why I'm so familiar with all these different types of tools because every tool that you see on the screen, uh, with the exception of maybe ClickFunnels and MailChimp, I no longer use anymore. So I, I found less expensive, more powerful uh, alternatives. But that being said, let's go ahead and get back to what I want to be able to explain to you today. So what I want to be able to explain to you today is something called an API. And you always want to look for API. It's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an application programming interface. That's basically a walkie talkie, right? Can, can this program talk to this program? Right. In order for those two to talk, they need an API to speak the same language in essence. Right. So not to make this too technical, um, an API and or uh, an application program interface allows one program to talk to another program. And prior to Zapier, this was very difficult to do and was very expensive to do. Zapier came along. It is a cloud based program. Right. It is a cloud based cloud-based program that allows um, two programs to talk, two or more programs to talk to each other and perform different functions. So this, this, while this video is about Zapier, there are some other alternatives. I'm going to probably do another video on these other alternatives because you'll see they're just as much powerful and probably less expensive. But this is particularly about Zapier, and I am going to do another video on how the basics of Zapier so what we have here, let's start from this side. Let's start from the customer journey. So let's let's start from the customer journey here. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, OK, so the customer journey starts here. They come to a landing page of some sort. Any one of these can perform as a landing page, whether it's ClickFunnels, Thrivecart, SamCart, Shopify, any type of um, convert that somebody's getting whether it's whether they're picking up an ebook or something of that nature right some of these over here double as a landing page actually most of these do have landing pages as well but these are your traditional um pages that people are using um so what they'll do is a person will will put place an order they'll put in their credit card number so on and so forth now what i want that client to do right i want them to go from making a purchase. This is their in-tech form. I want their information to be captured, email address, phone number, cell number, so on and so forth. I want that to be captured on the form here. I want that particular information to be sent to another program to send them down a sequence of events, sequence and or series of events. So I might want to send them, I might capture their birthday on this intake form right here but I want that birthday to be recorded in one of my uh, customer relation managements to send them an email on their birthday. But there's no way I can do any of that if I don't get it over into any one of these other programs. And what we'll call, we'll nurture them here. We'll get them in the front door here. We'll nurture them here, right? So that's kind of how those work. But in order to get over here, you need a program like a Zapier, which again, like I said, is the most widely used um, is Zapier. There's a newcomer here. I'm going to do another video on them too. I think they're even more powerful um, because you can actually, if there isn't another connection on the other end, you can actually create your own um, connection out of the sky, which is very, very, very powerful. So I'll add them later to another video. So that's in essence, I wanted to kind of keep this under five minutes. That's basically what it is. Person comes in one side, they go through any one of these intake forms. It's any type of form, any type of landing page with a form on it to capture the information, send them through a Zapier or a Zap, and then it, it sends it to any one of these 
uh, emailing systems, whether it be MailChimp, Entreport, ConvertKit, InCharge, or VBOW, and takes them down a customer journey on the back end. I do have a, a uh, video I want to have at the top or play at the end that'll kind of give you the basics and the essence of what a customer journey is. All right, so hopefully this video was uh, helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments what would you like to see another component of this that you'd like to see as well i'm going to expand on this probably go another there's another two or three layers that we can do hey this has been jenny jones thank you for stopping by the digital marketing tool shed leave a comment below subscribe share with a friend but i'm going to just break this stuff down in basic plain plain old um, layman's terms all right you guys have been great thanks for now bye